What's up guys? Welcome to the second installment of my Krabi trip, picking up right where we left off. Of course, we're starting right in the dark this rainy night as we head deeper into the jungle. Perfect timing for frogs, snakes, and other cool critters. Look at this animal. Man, I thought this was a wolf snake. I was actually looking for wolf snakes. I didn't expect the crate in this area. This is a, Malayan, a Malaysian crate or blue crate. One of the most venomous species of snake in Asia, well, Southeast Asia. Primarily snake eaters. Oh, don't go anywhere. Extremely toxic snake and it's climbing never really seen that before but I have heard reports of them being six foot high off the ground that is fascinating look at this guy go drop for drop one of the most venomous snakes in Southeast Asia he doesn't even care about me he knows he's deadly. He knows if I mess with him, it could be the last mistake I ever made. These snakes are lapids. They're very elusive. I cannot believe I found him. I saw him around here and I thought it was a wolf snake, especially when he's climbing like this. But you don't see a wolf snake this size. And this mobile for a crate, that's insane. Very cute though. How high are you even gonna go? They're out here tonight looking for snakes. That's their primary diet. They will feed on other reptiles like skinks when food is scarce. They will go for rodents if food is scarce. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just thought that I was gonna find a wolf snake here because this place really isn't known for crates. But oh, wow, that's insane. Oh, pure excitement, especially when I'm seeing one as high as me off the ground climbing up a tree. I might have to get him down because I want to talk a bit more about him. All right, yeah, come on. <laughs> okay, he's coming down by himself. They have very potent postsynaptic neurotoxins. That potent venom is used to subdue prey as fast as possible. I'm talking snakes uh, taking a bite from this guy could die in a matter of seconds. God, look at him go. He's higher than me now. That's incredible. I've never seen this before. Though this species of snake is extremely venomous, they are very mild tempered. They're very shy. They will prefer to just run away and biting is a last resort. He doesn't even care. Look at that. Now, of course, I don't encourage anyone to go out and touch a crate or something. But wow, look at this animal. Just showing how cool they are. He's definitely hungry, looking for some snakes he can put on a bit more weight. Now the wolf snakes that I'm looking for, the Malaysian wolf snakes, mimic this pattern quite well. But the banding is not as long and they, they lack the ridge on top. This is how you mostly tell crates apart from them. The shorter, rounder head and the triangular ridge on top of them. Look at the scales on top. Man, that's incredible. He's not even... Oh, he's not even bothered that I'm right here. But it might be time that I say goodbye and stop bothering him. He's got stuff to do tonight, and so do I, because tomorrow morning's another day of herping, and I don't want to be too tired for it. All right, buddy. Look at 
that. Not only do we find a gorgeous crate, right nearby is this female trilobite beetle. One of the most ancient beetles on the planet. They've been unchanged for millions of years and we still don't understand everything about them. Very awesome beetles. This is not full grown, this is a medium sized one. Continuing into the night. Look at this. This is the snake I've been looking for all night. And it's a perfect candidate too. Look at the color. Look at the pattern. What does this tell you? It's telling you crate, right? Malaysian crate. Well, that's where you're wrong. This is a Malaysian wolf snake. The perfect mimicry right here. It's pretending to be a crate. It's pretending to be a, an extremely venomous snake. And it's very bitey. Unlike a crate, actually. Now, the thing is, if this guy bites me, I'll be fine. If a crate bites me, I'm mostly dead. As I talked about before when I found the crate, they have a noticeable ridge on the back. There's a big scale. The banding is slightly different. There's also black between the bands sometimes. Now this one is still at a young age, so the head is kind of hard to tell. But if I'm not pinning it down, then it becomes more clear that it is in fact a wolf snake. It's easier to tell on the side here. Very cute little guy. Don't want to risk a bite from that. It will probably just hurt for about two minutes. Although, they are called wolf snakes. This means that their front teeth are enlarged compared to other snakes. And this is to hold down frogs, skinks, and even other snakes. So they can't escape a bite from this guy. I may have told you the differences between the Malayan crate and this Malayan wolf snake. But just to recap, no triangular ridge here, a rounded body compared to a crate which are more triangular sharp front teeth, but you're not going to want to get close enough to know that. So anyway, even though I've told you the differences between the two, if you really are unsure, don't mess with it. Leave the snake alone. It, it wants nothing to do with you. It just wants to go about its way, find its food, hide, avoid being eaten, avoid being killed. Beautiful little snake. Super bitey species. Every individual I've caught ends up biting me. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I swear to God, if you just bite me for no reason, I'll love you less. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. Like comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time in the final episode of this herping series and future ones to come. Bye bye!